And uh, it, it is very interesting, the history of quality management as a field of practice came from kind of automotive manufacturing, making cars in Japan, uh, essentially, is the history of it. And uh, safety came from kind of aviation and risk management came from finance. And all of a sudden, we talk about them a lot uh, in healthcare for, for a very long time, really, I suppose, back to the, to the 50s and 60s. But in their advent, they were very much engineered towards uh, physical health care. And even in physical health care, they had a very acute hospital feel. Uh, and, and, and now, uh, uh, thankfully, there's a lot more research into uh, quality and safety within mental health services. But, but still, people, I think, struggle a little bit with, oh, I'm going to come to your um, uh, psychiatry of later life clinic and we're, we're going to measure the quality, or I'm going to come to your CAMS team and sit down with you and have a talk about uh, safety. What, you know, what do we actually mean there? And one of the legacy values from total quality management as an approach to quality management is that quality is defined by the customer as it was, now they were selling cars. But for us, the, the, the mindset that quality is defined by the service user, and I think that's very helpful. That's led us into the whole era of recovery-oriented um, care, goal-directed therapies. What are the clinical outcomes we expect when we start a talking therapy or another kind of therapy, or when we write a care plan, you know, what is it we expect to achieve and how do we measure the achievement of that? And how does that link to me getting back into school or university or back to live with my family or whatever it might be?